it's Jo and Carla from Benton and Flower Farm. We're going to show you all about dahlias. <laughs> Digging, storing, dividing. Okay, so we've dug the cafe, as you can see, and it's quite big. So there's all the tubers, so we're going to take it down, give it a wash, and then divide it. So Carla's got a bowl of water here. Um, you don't have to have a bowl of water, you can actually use a hose, but it's fine. She's going to put this lovely cafe dahlia. If you're, if you're going to keep the whole clump and you're not going to divide, what I would do is brush off as much soil as possible and dry it out with the soil on. This will help protect it. But if you're, go, if you're intending on dividing your tubers, um, I would literally wash it off like Carla was doing or hose it off. You will get quite messy. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, you broke that one. Okay, don't worry, because we're going to cut the stems off anyway, so don't worry if you snap a stem. Um, but yeah, so if you're planning on dividing, you need to wash them so you can see what you're doing. If you're leaving the clump whole, then just brush as much off as you can, dry it out, and then store it whole. Um, but just obviously remember to take the top off, which we'll show you how to do it anyway. And it is worth doing it in a big bucket of water. Yeah, it's a lot tidier, it's isn't it? Easier. Because if you put the hose on, it splashes up, you get absolutely covered. So this is probably our go-to way of cleaning our tubers. Yeah, see? There you go. Nice big tuber. Everything looks good on there. We'll check it for any diseases, but it looks pretty healthy. Huge tuber clump. So Carla's just going to work getting all that soil off for us. Um, so now you've got your clean tuber. What we want to do is cut all the top growth off the tuber. So you can discard that on your compost. And then you'll be left with a lovely tuber clump. You want to do about an inch and a half to two inches at the top, as you can see. And now what we're going to do is divide this clump up. So this one clump is one year's growth. And you can have multiple, if you want to divide, you don't have to. Make sure they're dry before you put them in storage. But if you want to divide, this is how we do it. Start with your clump. You can get rid of all these. This makes it a little bit easier to work with. All the old roots, you can get rid of those. You won't be needing those at all. And it will also help you see what you're doing. So all the roots, just chop them off. Get yourself a nice pair. I would suggest you buy a brand new pair of scissors, very, very sharp floristry scissors. Brand new pair of secateurs for this job because the clumps are quite tough. So there you go. So we have a nice, nice stem, nice neck there. We've got lots of tubers there. So each one of these will make this in one season. So each one of these is a dahlia. Oh, okay. So what you're looking for you can just see the light of these. It's easier to see the eyes when you first dig them up. So when you take your tubers home, can you see? They're like little tiny bubbles. So to have a viable tuber, you've got to have the body. It's quite a skinny one. You've got to have the neck and you've got to be attached to the crown. So that's where your new plant shoots will come out of. So you can see on, let me point with these. You can see on this one, at the bottom of my scissors, there's a little nobble eyes. They're called eyes, but they look like little nobbles. Um, and they're quite hard to see in the spring um, before they start shooting. So I like to divide them when we dig, dig the tubers up. And so what you need to do is you need a very, very, very sharp pair of secateurs and you need to make sure you've got a little bit of that crown attached and you've got to go in. You've got to be quite brave. And there you go. So dividing. Now, can you see, I've kept the neck, which is quite a skinny tuber, this one, to show you. But there's the eyes. Okay. You must have the eyes. They won't grow without the eyes. And then I'm going to leave that one to dry. And then we're going to go back to the tuber. And this tuber here is quite good. And it's got some eyes there. Can you see? So I'm going to get right in there. Try and get right behind it, if I can. It's not an easy job. A lot of people are quite scared to do it, but actually it's well worth doing. You'd be surprised. Again, please use really sharp um, floristry scissors. Now on this one, potentially this, this skinny tuber will grow and this one's up, but I'm going to leave those because I don't want to divide that. So I'm going to leave those together. So there's another one. And then we'll have a look onto the tuber. 
and you can see this big fat tube here this one and there's an eye there so we're going to attempt to take that one out yeah. nicely done well so there's there's the eye there's the neck and there's the tube and i'm just going to give that a quick rinse so you can see a bit better so can you see there's eyes there just got them should be fine tuba and that's the neck yeah can you see that so i'm going to put him away to dry and then i'm going to have a look at the tuba again the big mother tuba what have we got here then so this is getting difficult now because it's hard to see the eyes but there's one look can you see in there Mikey. there's a little tiny nobble can you see a little nobble there Oh, yes. That's an eye. Not quite well on here, actually. Okay, so I'm going to get try and get it right in there and get this one off. There you go. So I've got the tuber, I've got the neck, and I've got the little eye, which is just in there. I'm going to leave this bit here. So there's another one. All right, so so we've got another tuber here. We've got a neck, which is intact, and then you can just see in there, there's some little nobbles, so there the eyes. Yeah. So should we attempt so to get that one? really clear on here. Okay, so let's get in there. It's very sharp. Well, she says, is it? Okay. And I've released that one as well. So can you see? Okay. Yeah. So you've got one plant, two plants, three plants, four plants, five plants, and you've still, still going. got... <laughs> still going. They're still going. So let's go for more. So this one here, there's a little eye there, so we'll go straight in. I'm going to go quite deep in this one because it's quite hefty. Because it's sitting right behind another one. So you've just got to go carefully. Hey. Oh, we've got two there. Now, let me just give that a wash. Mm. So you might, this is quite a difficult one to see, but there is a tiny little yes. couple of bubbles there, which are eyes, and yeah. I would, uh, just there. Wow, how do you So you've got the neck intact, you've got the body, and then you've got the, the crown, the head here, and you've got a couple of little eyes. They're just tiny little bubbles. I'm gonna leave this one on there. There's no point separating that one. Although, technically, if you cut that off, you'd have two plants. But I think we're getting quite a lot of this one. Yeah. Um, that's where Carla broke the neck, but that's fine. It doesn't make any difference. As long as you've got the eyes on these tubers, it won't matter whatsoever. Now, there's a little one back there. You might not see this, but you can see the eyes oh, on I it. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's there. much clearer. So we're going to try and remove this one. Now, it is a bit of a weird shape, but it looks viable. So we'll go in there. You can see I'm going to try and get as much as I can off it. There you go. So it's sort of interlinked here. There's oh. two. Got it. But there is a viable eye there. Yeah. So we'll leave those two in. together. That looks good. And then we've got there's another one. You're gonna go in. There you go, look. So there's another one, it's got a nice good neck. It's got the eyes at the end. You can just see. And then I'm gonna put that there. And I'm I'm just gonna work my way around until I've done as many as I want to do really. You don't have to do them all, you could leave it, I might leave that as is. So out of that tuber, that one tuber, that one season tuber, I've got a nice clump there. That's one cafele, two cafele, three cafele, four cafele, five cafele, six cafele, seven cafele, eight cafele, nine cafele just out of that one tuber and I still haven't finished dividing. So it's as easy as that guys. Now, once they're done, dry them off, put them somewhere nice, clean them, put them somewhere nice and dry on a windowsill or in a greenhouse on the bench, just for a couple of days just to dry. That's all you need to do. A couple of days, get them nice and dry and then we're gonna pack them and we're gonna put them to bed for the winter so that they'll be beautiful um, and ready to plant in the spring. Okay, so to store your dahlias over winter, if you're digging them up, if you're not digging them up, just cover them with a big pile of leaves, straw or compost, and that hopefully will keep them through the winter months in your garden or in pots. But if they get wet, cold and hit, hit by the frost, they'll die. So you're better off lifting if you can. Um, 
Dahlias are not frost hardy, so we need to put them to bed and make sure they're nowhere near any frost. So in a cool garage that doesn't get hit by frost or a storeroom or cold room, anywhere that's just cool, not too warm, they'll be happy and sleep until spring. So we've got a cardboard box. I've got some pet shavings. It's the simplest way of storing your dahlias. We didn't lose any last year doing it this way and a lot of people lost a lot of dahlias. Just put a nice layer in the bottom, make sure the shavings are dry. Get your dahlias that you've cleaned and dried, place them into the box. Get another layer of shavings. You'll get this from any pet store or any QD or uh, a lot of the supermarkets sell bag, a little small bag of shavings. Cover them up and the most important thing, remember to label them. I've written capital A because that's what they are. Put them in the box. Voila! Done! And just store your dahlias somewhere nice and dry that's frost free and then we'll bring them out and we'll do a video when they're ready to come out in March and then we'll pop them up ready to go in your garden. Hope this helps. Take care. Bye!